am here today with a do-it-yourself Tumblr inspired room decor video and I posted one of these about a year ago and it is still by far my most viewed video. I think it just got like 140,000 views which doesn't make any sense to me. It was repinned over a thousand times on Pinterest. All this crazy stuff. But you guys seem to enjoy that so here's another one and it's been super requested. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself videos. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get on into this video. The first do it yourself is this wooden headboard and these can range anywhere from $200 and above and this was under $20. You're going to need 7 to 10 of these fake plywood sheets and I got these at Michael's for really really cheap. Then you're going to need some E6000, super glue, any sort of glue you want to use, just not hot glue because it will melt the boards. Taking the glue, you're going to line the edge of one of the wooden plywood thingies. I'm so eloquent, yeah! But this is kind of time consuming, but trust me, it's worth it in the end. So you're going to line the entire side of one. Then you're going to take another piece and you're basically going to glue it together by sticking the sides to one another. And then you're going to want that to dry. And then you're going to take the edge of another one and glue that and continue the process until you have glued all of the sheets. Once that finished drying, I just tacked it to the wall using this sticky tape stuff. Not really sure what it's called, but I found it in my closet. And then I took these lights from Target and I just hung them over it to add that tumblery vibe. And they were only $10 if you want to go get some. And sorry, this clip is blurry and out of focus. I tried. I filmed it on my own. And that is the completed headboard. This entire thing was under $20. And I think it looks really good and tumblery. Next up is this organizational tray that was under $3. So I found this plate for less than a dollar at Target and it has all these little organizational compartments. And then I took gold paint because I feel like that's a very tumblery thing with the metallic shine and everything. And all I did was I painted the top of the plate and you're going to have to do a lot of coats of this, at least if you have paint like mine because it's not very opaque. But all you gotta do is paint it, wait for it to dry, and just continue on with more coats, and it ends up looking really cool in the end. There's the finished tray, and I just put some of my favorite nail polish colors in there, as well as some of my favorite jewelry like my bracelets, some rings, earrings, and my all-time favorite necklace. Next, I found these containers at the dollar store and they were actually candle holders and I just filled them up with Epsom salts, but you can take whatever you want, beads or rice. And then I just stuck my makeup brushes in there and this is a perfect way to organize your brushes and it smells really good too. I actually saw some of these triangular photo decorations on Pinterest and Tumblr and stuff, but they were really expensive so I decided to make some of my own. All you're going to need for these are just some pictures of your choice. I got some from Instagram. And then you're going to basically cut out triangles from that picture. I cut it out just freehand. So there was no like math or measurements to this. Then I just took a cereal box. You can use whatever cardboard box you have. And I just outlined the triangles. And you're going to need two for each of them to make it three dimensional. In order to make this three-dimensional, I just cut a strip out of the sides of the Fruit Loop cereal box, and this is what's going to be used as the sides of the triangles. Once again, you're going to be using E6000 or super glue. Then you're going to take the glue and you're going to glue one side of the triangle. And then you're going to attach that to the strip that you cut out from the side of the cereal box and make sure that this is dried or at least semi-dry so that it does not fall because it happened to me a lot and then I learned that if I glued the edge of the cereal box first, the strip we cut out and then tried to attach the other part to it, it worked better and then I did the same thing with the other triangle to make the back now I use spray glue to attach the photo to the triangle but if you want to you can use Mod Podge or regular glue then all I did was I just pressed down the photo onto the glue so that it would stick. In order to cover up the sides, I used this purple scrapbook paper, but honestly you could just use construction paper or cardstock or something. And that is the completed little room decoration. I hope you guys like this. I really like how it turned out. And this is actually a picture of crystals I took in Alaska. And it's just for my Instagram, but you can use whatever picture you want. 
this last do-it-yourself is a mini trash bucket for your desk. I found this bucket for a dollar at Target and all I did was I placed a piece of tape around the top of it so that the edge would be exposed and all I did was I went in with the gold paint that I used earlier on that organizational tray and I just painted it and like before I had to do a bunch of layers so that it would look opaque. Once again you can use any color you like but I really like the look of the gold and teal together. This is perfect for your desk to prevent any clutter from forming all around your desk because I know that happens to me a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of those do-it-yourselves. This video is really fun to film, really fun to edit, and I'm gonna go now because it's like super duper hot. I'm sweating in this sweater, but I'm wearing a tank top and I didn't shave my armpits. That may be too much information, but you know, it's okay because we all get lazy sometimes, but I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video.